Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time, when we left off, we had just finished making our way through the Picus TV newsroom, and we had arrived at the funicular, which we need to take down to the hidden sub-basement where we can find Eliza Kassan. We are still dealing with the permanent alert state. At the moment, there are only four bad guys, but Pritchard indicated to us, correctly I might add, that as soon as, excuse me, as soon as we summon the funicular, the bad guys will know where we are, and eight more will arrive. Let's take these two gentlemen down. That was nice and easy. Nothing on that one. This one has 120 credits and a pocket secretary. Here is the code for the storage room. 0068. Secure that room. Dispatch command. Okay. This is a sneaker. Spec Ops. I don't think we've seen that before. We also saw our first ogre upstairs. I'm not sure where the new guys spawn in when I summon the funicular, so I may have to uh, be careful here. Although I will say this, there's only one ghost bonus, and I'm pretty sure I get it as soon as I summon the funicular. So I don't have to wor I don't actually have to worry about staying undetected after it's summoned before I use it to go down to the sub basement. But all the same, I think it's probably just a good plan to drag these guys a little ways up here. All right, two down, two to go for now. That sure was easy. The funicular is straight ahead. We've got a storage room to the right. Better check that out. This locker room is unlocked. Well, let's start opening lockers. Might as well. Whenever I see stuff, I have to take a second to make sure none of it's useful. Looking like no. Revolver ammo. There we go. It's probably the only... Oh, nope. Stun gun darts. Okay. That's it for that. Let's head over here for now. Storage room is locked with a level 3 lock. We have the code off of the pocket secretary, but we, of course, will hack it. That's just how we do. Access granted. 300 XP in the data store, plus 75 for the base hack. And then exploring the room itself gets you another 300 XP. Inside, we have a heavy rifle with three boxes of heavy rifle ammo and an automatic unlocking device. Well, what about here? Still nobody. Nothing in those hallways either. 
So what's in this door? Just another big storage room. This one has every appearance of actually having nothing inside it. There are the other two guys. There's also a camera, a live camera, and I believe a live turret. So I need to be careful. Let me check inside this door, although now I... Okay, well, he noticed the door opening, which I am not the biggest I fan do not of. Have a yet. Hostile in the area. Keep yeah, I'm not going to be able to take those guys down until I find the security hub and deal with the turret and the camera. So let's see what I can find down here. I'll find you, you little shit. There those gentlemen are. And here is the security hub. Now I feel like they're gonna see me. And let's give it a whirl. Someone hiding over there. You're Take going down. Gotta get <laughs> yeah, they see, they see me. That means... I either have to time the hack better, or I'm gonna have to manage to handle them without disabling security. That second one will be tough because... Well, maybe not. Maybe if I just wait until they both start their patrols the other direction, I'll be okay. Nope. There's got to be a way to do this. There just has to. Someone hit the I see you. Damn. Maybe if I pop up at the right moment, I can visually lure them both back here. Or, you know, even farther back, out of, out of camera range. You're going down! Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm going about this wrong. Maybe I can pull them both into this hallway. That'd be something. Someone hiding over there. I got one coming. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. Suspicious. I don't like this. I heard that. Come out. Looking like they're not gonna come out. Oh, 
I'll find you, you little shit. I feel like I need to pull this hack off without getting spotted. Maybe I can cloak and perform the hack. Let me see. Access granted. There we go. That did it. I'll find you, you little shit. Of course, that came at the cost of a bunch of my nutrients, but that's okay. Alright, we took those guys down. Five combat rifle bullets, a hypo stim, and 160 credits. Let's drag them away out of here. I feel like the, uh, the locker room is actually probably a good place to stash all four bodies. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a minute to do that. And good thing I came back here because there's a credit chip on the bench. 50 credits. Grab this guy's body, too. Drag these guys in here. And the two I dragged up. Well, I think they're okay where they are. Okay, now before I get too far into doing anything else, let me make sure my stealth bonuses are still intact. Then I'll make a new real save, or permanent save, or whatever. You know what I'm saying. That's done it. They'll be converging on your position, and the funicular will take some time to get there. It isn't a high-speed elevator. Great. Not to worry. I'm sure your new friends will make the wait interesting. I'll keep you up to date on this progress. Thanks for nothing, Francis. Summon the funicular. Wait for the funicular. We got getting things done, go stand smooth operator. Perfect. And the good news is those are the last, well, they're not the last in Picus, but they're the only uh, stealth bonuses we need to worry about. So knowing that they're intact, we'll go ahead and do this. Next, I need to deal with the turret. What do I want to use to do that? I have no real explosives left, just my EMP grenades, so...
I wonder if I can use the Typhoon on a turret. Let's turn it back on and see. Since it doesn't matter if the turret goes hostile. I'm curious, let's find out. No. Oh, it... I know now! That's why Typhoon sets off alarms. Because if you blow up a camera, it triggers the alarm. So, theoretically, if I can get far enough away from the camera and trigger my Typhoon, I should be able to do it without any trouble. Let's find out, I'm curious. Oh, well, let's pick up the live turret, haul it out into the hallway. Far away from the camera where it can be safe. Both because I think the Typhoon is neat and because I want to save my EMP grenades for dealing with box guards and the like. Anyway. There we go. No alarm. Turret destroyed. In a much more fun way, if you ask me. Concussion mine. Mine template. Concussion mine. Gas grenade. Combat rifle ammo. Well, since I do have a template, let's make an EMP mine. We'll have to listen to the Pritchard conversation again, but I want to make sure... They'll be converging on your position, and the funicular will take some time to get there. It isn't a high-speed elevator. Great. Not to worry. I'm sure your new friends will make the wait interesting. I'll keep you up to date on his progress. Thanks for nothing, Francis. Pretty sure we still got Ghost and Smooth Operator, but I just want to be certain. Yes, we did. Now, again... Before I do that and trigger the ambush, which is eight new human enemies, let's make sure this area is cleared out. Two stun gun darts and three pistol bullets, and I realized I might as well start carrying pistol ammo since I do have inventory space now. Let's see what else we can find. There's a vent here. Plenty of places to hide and wait out the ambush, but we, of course, will take down all eight enemies with double takedowns, just because that's how we roll. There it is. Traveler, 100 XP for finding this vent and poking around underneath the lobby. We've already hacked the security hub. There's an alarm panel. Let's go hack that. It bumped that up to a four. Access granted. No matter. Stopworm, 75 XP. Panel disabled. I think that's it XP wise. So let's just make sure we've picked up everything we want and then we can get started. There's not really anything up here. There's another vent here. Where does this one go? Behind the soda machine, probably. Yep. Alright. Well, let's do a new permasave. And let's summon the funicular. That's done it. They'll be converging on your position, and the funicular will take some time to get there. It isn't a high-speed elevator. 
Great. Not to worry. I'm sure your new friends will make the wait interesting. I'll keep you up to date on his progress. Thanks for nothing, Francis. Alright. Getting things done, 250. Ghost 500, Smooth Operator 250. I got a new Praxis point, which... I'm actually not going to spend where I said I would. I'm not going to get Radar 2. Let's get Run Silently. Spend it there. Oh yes, and our new objective is wait for the funicular. The funicular is on its way to get me. Unfortunately, so are the mercs. Looks like I've got two choices while I wait. Hide or fight. Now, like I said, the good news is we don't have to worry about stealth anymore. Did you hear footsteps? Yeah, sounds like some running. Over there. There is... There is not another ghost or smooth operator bonus here. Let's kind of wait and see where people settle in. Funicular is halfway there, Jensen. I've got a possible go, 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 go. Still don't want that, though. The funicular is halfway there, Jensen. Right. Well, I want to take out all eight of these guys. Oh, you know what? I can do this the easy way. wasn't as clean as I thought it might be. Oh hell. Yeah, let's do this the easy way. I got a concussion mine, right? Footsteps? Yeah. Sounds like someone running. Over there. Oh, the sneakers have cloaks too. That's intriguing. There's a way to do this. I'm also pretty sure it's easier than I'm making it. I'm trying to... I just need to pull them all together in a tight enough knot that I can just do a string of double takedowns. That'd be the easiest thing to do by far. Got a possible visual. Get over there and confirm it. I do not have a confirmation! Who the hell is that? Hostile! 
Damn. Hmm. Oh. Damn it, I thought I had him, but I didn't quite cloak soon enough. I think they're shooting at the last spot they saw me, which is kind of cool, actually. Your ride is there, Jensen. Get moving. Hostile on the run. Uh. Okay, well, as cool as that was, I want it just a little bit cleaner. Damn, that was so close. If I had just pulled them into the vent a little faster, everything would have been fine. It's alright, though. I know I can get him this way. Well, let's just eat one of these. Take down the idiot brigade. Eyes out! I have a hostile in the area. Hope they found the body. Oh, come on. Really, Jensen? The other guy's standing right there. Why would he do a single? I don't know. Just to bother me, I suppose. Ah! We need help here. 
Damn it. Do I need to wait longer? Hey, are they gonna be together long enough? No, I think I'm only gonna get the one shot at him. Stay on patrol. is there, Jensen. Get moving. I do not have a confirmation yet! 2,500 XP for waiting for the funicular. And one of those guys has a clip of revolver ammo. Use the funicular to descend to the sub-basement. The funicular's arrived. Time to get in and descend to the sub-basement. That's all well and good, and I know this is great, because there is no mo more... There are no more ghost bonuses, or anything like that. So... That was pretty darn random, but it worked out really well for me. I have to say. There's six guys left, I know that. You hear someone jumping around over there? Go see what's going on. Did you hear footsteps? Oh, I don't have enough energy. I was like, where's my takedown button? But, there's an odd number of guys, so that's... That's no good. Got one back there. Where are the last two? It's like the last two are here on the staircase. Yep. Okay. Well, now I know where everybody is, so there's that, too. Sure someone's here. My biggest problem is an odd number of guys inside this room. Guess I can get the two staircase guys first. Oh, they did score a hit. And I don't like that. Well, let's let's do even a little better than we just did. There we go. That one's got 50 credits, a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack, and 30 machine pistol ammo. And the other one has nothing. I don't like the situation. Got a sneaker all the way out here. Well, 
Well, this will be awesome. Footsteps. Who's there? You hear someone jumping around up there? Go see what's going on. Of course, now I've, that actually doesn't work out so well. Someone over there! Hold it! You can't. Shit! Lost it! I should have thought of the, uh, Hostile on the run. more direct approach to pulling men together a while ago. <laughs> so we're good. That's everybody. And I even have the hypo stims to get back to 200 health. Like I said, there is no ghost or smooth operator bonus available, so took everybody out with double takedowns. It was pretty easy. Let's use the funicular now, which there's the button right there. Jensen, I'm beginning to think that not everything is what it appears to be at Pike's Communications. And what gave you that idea? The hidden sub-basement, the fact that a 24-hour news network has been cleared of all workers, or the heavily armed guards trying to kill me? Spare me the sarcasm. I'm talking about how easy it's been to bypass the firewall and access their systems. At least, parts of them. Whatever do you mean? I mean, I feel as if I'm being directed to some areas of the network and kept away from others. Only no security system I know of can do that on the fly. Figure it out later, Pritchard. If I'm gonna catch Miss Kassan in action, I need a more accurate destination than the secret lair. The hollow processing cloud you encountered in room 404 was accompanied by a massive power spike. The spike originated in one of the sub-basement's bigger rooms, 80211. I suspect that's where she broadcasts from. All right, so we have completed Use the funicular to descend to the sub-basement. That was worth another 250. And our new primary goal is get inside room 80211. Pritchard thinks he's pinpointed Eliza Cassan's actual location, room 80211. It's one of the sub-basement's larger offices. I'm betting security surrounding it will be tight. I'm sure you're right, Jensen. So the funicular goes down for a long, long time. And then it finally spits us out in the sub-basement. Now I'm gonna make Okay, good. Yeah, the sub-basement is a separate area. That's important because uh, detections don't go between areas when you're thinking about the ghost bonus. There is a ghost bonus down here, and I was worried about it, but since the sub-basement is a separate area, I know that getting spotted upstairs doesn't implicate my ghost stealth bonuses down here. So we're in a new area. I've made a new perma-save. I'll make a new quick-save and say... 
This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Next time, we will tackle the sub-basement. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.